She is known for her extensive collection of novel specimens of flora and plants from Colombia, Mexico, and Peru. She is recognized for discovering a new genus of Asteraceae, known as Mexianthus. Her name is Inez Enriqueta Julieta Mejia. In the realms of botanical exploration, there exist individuals whose unwavering dedication and fearless pursuit of knowledge have forever transformed our understanding of the natural world. Inez Enriqueta Julieta Mejia was one such luminary, a Mexican-American botanist whose extraordinary expeditions across Colombia, Mexico, and Peru left an indelible mark on the field of botany. Born in Washington, D.C. on May 24, 1870, Mejia's passion for plants and flora blossomed at an early age, fueling her insatiable thirst for discovery and exploration. Embarking on her first botanical expedition in her 40s, Mejia embarked on a remarkable journey that spanned 16 years, traversing treacherous terrains and enduring countless challenges in pursuit of her research. Armed with an unyielding determination and an acute eye for detail, Mejia ventured into the heart of Colombia, Mexico, and Peru, collecting novel specimens of flora that had eluded previous explorers. Her botanical discoveries were not only vast in number but also groundbreaking in their significance. Mejia's keen observations and meticulous documentation led to the identification of a new genus of Asteraceae, which was fittingly named Mexianthus in her honor. This remarkable achievement solidified her status as a pioneering figure in the field of botany, showcasing her unrivaled expertise and profound impact on the world of plant taxonomy. However, Mejia's journey was not without its perils. As she delved deeper into uncharted territories, she faced numerous dangers, from poisonous berries to treacherous terrains, bogs, and even earthquakes. Yet, her unwavering spirit and unyielding determination propelled her forward, undeterred by the challenges that lay before her. By the end of her career, Mejia had amassed an astonishing collection of over 150,000 specimens, each a testament to her tireless pursuit of knowledge and her unwavering dedication to the botanical world. Her contributions to the field of botany continue to be studied and celebrated to this day, serving as a source of inspiration for future generations of botanists and scientists. Inez Enriqueta Julieta Mejia's expeditions have had a profound and lasting impact on our understanding of the natural world. Her relentless pursuit of botanical knowledge and her unwavering commitment to exploration have forever changed the field of botany, transcending borders and inspiring generations of scientists. Mejia's legacy serves as a reminder that there is always more to discover, and that by daring to venture into the unknown, we have the power to unlock the secrets of our natural world. After suffering a mental and physical breakdown, Inez Mejia left Mexico in search of medical care. In San Francisco, she found treatment at the Arequipa Sanatorium and began going on excursions with the Sierra Club, developing an interest in ecology. In 1924, she became a United States citizen. In 1925, Mejia embarked on her first botanical exploration in Mexico, accompanying Stanford's assistant herbarium curator, Roxana Ferris. This marked the beginning of her remarkable botanical career, spanning 13 years and taking her from Alaska to Tierra del Fuego. Throughout her travels, Mejia defied societal norms, often traveling alone, riding horseback, and wearing trousers. She rejected stereotypes and aimed to become better acquainted with the South American continent by making her way right across it. In 1938, while on an expedition in Oaxaca, Mexico, Mejia fell ill and was forced to return to the United States. She was diagnosed with lung cancer and passed away a month later at the age of 68. Her friendly and unassuming spirit, as well as her rare courage, left a lasting impression on those who knew her. If you want to discover more adventurers on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button for my channel, and don't forget to leave a comment in the section below, telling us which adventurers you'd like us to feature next.